This video is sponsored by Squarespace. So I've been thinking, we don't, we don't really get to talk very often, or at all, because every time I film a video, I'm just talking to myself, and then you guys are just listening to me talk to myself, so I thought, hey, let's talk together. And I think the easiest way for us to chit chat is through a Q&A. So I asked you guys on my Instagram to ask me your questions. You guys did. I have a big pile of questions here, which I, I will not get through all of them, but I will try to pick the best ones, the most common ones, the ones I like, the ones that were unexpected, a wide variety. Come here. How did you learn to knit? I know crochet, but trying knitting and it's way harder. I I taught myself how to knit, kinda. Like, I don't wanna say 100% because I did get taught knitting when I was like eight years old from my mom. I did forget it right after. I also did not finish any projects with it. I got really bored. So I learned, but it wasn't till a few years ago when I taught myself crochet. I decided, I was like, hey, Knitting sounds pretty cool too. And then I taught myself knitting pretty much through YouTube. But it was kind of like riding a bike where it did come back to me a little bit, but I did teach myself. Which I have a whole bunch of videos on how to get started and like tips and tricks. So I'll have them linked down below. How did you start your YouTube career? So I actually started my YouTube career four years ago now. Four years, one month-ish. And I actually had my own business at the time and I was doing a lot of client work and I wasn't really enjoying designing things for other people. So I started YouTube just for a little way to work. Excuse me, sir. I started YouTube as a little thing that maybe could make me some money, maybe um, to pay for the projects I wanted to work on and just have a little fun on the side. And that's really all it was, was just me thrifting and me creating things and doing DIYs, just things that I would legit just do in my spare time. But I was like, hey, what if I could monetize this and make money from this? Not expecting really to make money. I was like, maybe I'll make a few hundred dollars and then it can pay for some things. Um, but no way did I really expect it to be my full time job. No, never in a million years. So it kind of just happened from a little hobby I had on the side and then it turned into something way bigger. How old are Benson and Jack? So Benson, he just turned eight last month and Jack, he is going to be two in two weeks now. How old are you? I am 27 years old. Can I help you? You want to go under the blanket? There. When and why did you decide to stop being vegan? No judgment, just curious. I was actually vegan for three, four years, a while. It could have even been longer, I don't know. But this last year, I started eating meat and dairy again. And it's not like a particular reason where it's like, this is why. It was just a lot of things. When you're vegan, it's kind of tough sometimes eating out. And I've just been a less, you know, strict on that. If I want to enjoy something when I'm out with friends and there's no options, then I'll eat meat. If I want to enjoy a sandwich with meat sometimes, I'll enjoy a sandwich with meat. Doesn't mean I eat it every single day and it's in every single meal, but I have it sometimes. I just think it was a little toxic for me to be so strict on food and I just decided that I'm just gonna enjoy what I wanna eat, when I wanna eat it, and it's kinda just worked better for me. Who is your favorite dog? This is a great question. I feel like my favorite dog is, this depends on day to day. Like I can't, you know, people say they don't have a favorite child. I feel like you have a favorite child depending on the day. Like sometimes Jack, he's my favorite dog. Sometimes Benson's my favorite dog. Obviously, I love them both, but you know, depends on the day who's being a bit better. The scales kind of tip. But today, Benson, Jack's a little loud. How long have you been creating the necklace? So you guys might've saw the video where I announced my partnership with Ana Luisa and we created this necklace together. And it actually took me a year. I think I started working with them last November and it was released this November. So it really took a full year of communicating, going through iterations, and going through the whole process to actually get the final necklace out into the world announced. So a year, but we really had the design back, I think in like April, which if you guys won't get it, I'll have the link down below. Is it snowing in Canada yet? Probably, but not where I live. 
do you have any big projects planned? Yas, big projects. I have one project that's gonna take me three years to do. I haven't started it yet, but it will be starting in January. I'm slightly terrified. <laughs> any new man on the horizon? I give hints, right? If I want to spice up knitting with color and different type of yarn, where should I start? I love different textures and weights and colors to my yarn. So I just like playing with different mix matches and trying to put them all together. I think you can do something really cool with that where you can create such a cool pattern. Like you're pretty much creating fabric. You can have a basic just sweater, but if you add all these really cool colors and textures into that, you'll hit the moon. Why do you move so much? I know, I've been moving a lot lately and it's not really because I want to move, I hate moving. I never want to move again in my life. I don't like it. It's so much work, it's... It's not fun. Just things have happened. I've had a lot of change this past year um, and that's kind of made me move just because I had to move when I separated from my last partner. Um, I had to get a new place and then I got a place and only wanted to stay there for six months. It wasn't quite the right place, but it was like good enough. And so I moved to this place and now I have this place and um, might be moving again. I don't know, I'm just trying to find the right spot for me to end up and it's just a little tricky. Three moves in one year, kind of a lot, so. It's really just been about just change in my life. That's why I've been moving. So we're just gonna take a quick break from the video because today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys haven't heard of Squarespace before, they are this amazing website where you guys can make your own professional looking website. I personally have been using Squarespace ever since college and I actually use them right now for my website. Some of my favorite features about Squarespace is one, you can have an online store with physical and digital products. Two, with that online store, you can also offer local pickup to your local customers. And three, if you're an artist designer like myself, but you don't have any products you want to sell, you can also set up an online gallery feature where you can showcase your work there. Head to squarespace.com slash Jenna Phipps to start your free trial. And then after your free trial, be sure to use my code Jenna Phipps at checkout and you'll get 10% off your website or domain. What does a week in your life look like? Unfortunately, a week in my life is just working. I work pretty much every single day and each day is different because when I'm making these videos, except like a video like this, it usually takes me three to five days to film it because the projects are usually so big and they've gotten bigger and bigger every single project I do. So mainly every single day I'm working towards the video for the week and um, you know, sometimes I might have a weekend off, some days I have one day off and some days I, some weeks I just don't have any days off. Um, but it really depends, but either it's me filming a video for most of the days and then me on the computer working on just computer work, emails, working with sponsors, working with other companies, working on new projects, working on patterns, working on just new video ideas, calendar planning. There's just, there's a lot. Community, communicating with people that work for me. It's, um, it's something that it's hard to tell you guys because it is so different. There's no one week that's the same as the next week. They really are super different. How did the date go? You mentioned one of your videos. <laughs> it was really good. It was a good date. Um, I can say I don't like dating. I hate going on dates. I know they suck. How do you start to get sponsorships? Do they contact you or do you contact them first? So me, my personal experience with working with sponsors, I don't contact them. I've actually been really lucky that all the sponsors I've worked with, or 95% of the sponsors I've worked with, they have reached out to me um, just through my channel and just through them finding my videos on YouTube and then reaching out to me or through different managements. I don't have a manager or one specific man management company, but I have a few that kind of search for me, um, so it all really goes through them. I have reached out to companies, brands that I really, really love and really want to work with and done it that way, which a lot of people are very successful with, but personally, I have just done really well with just the companies reach out to me, which is pretty cool to say that I really don't have to do much outreach for, I guess, me. Are you dating anyone? No. 
This is probably the most asked question to be honest. Like you guys are very curious about my dating life and um, I don't like dating. That's my thoughts on it. I don't like going on first dates. First dates are the worst or even second dates. That doesn't sound that too amusing to me. Not fun. What was the chain of events that led you to becoming a YouTuber? And what would you be if you weren't? This is actually really funny because I was talking to my friend about this and I don't know why. People in my life um, see me as a YouTuber, which is very shocking to me because I never saw myself as a YouTuber before. Um, but they said if I wasn't a YouTuber, I'd be a teacher, like a kindergarten teacher. And I don't know if I should be offended by that or that's a compliment. I'm a little confused right now because they say I would be a good mom, which I definitely think so. I think I'd be a freaking killer mom, not killer wrong choice of words a good one but I went to school I got an art degree I have a degree in like graphic design I could work in corporate America making logos but no one thinks I could I don't know I honestly I don't see myself doing that either um, if I wasn't doing YouTube personally what would I be doing I kind of want to work in a care home and do like the bingo with everyone and do like lunchtime and hand out the cookies and be like George one cookie you know where at least my my grandpa when he was in a home they're like one cookie only don't you dare take two cookies we don't have enough cookies for everyone so I would love to be that because why do I want to work with senior citizens I don't know it's either senior citizens or five-year-olds it's really yeah I just really want to play bingo and maybe knit with the ladies Tell us about your tattoos. So, I I lost count how many tattoos I have. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I have fourteen tattoos. I did not know that. I, if you were to ask me how many tattoos I thought I had, I'd probably say ten. That's good news that I have four more than I thought. I just really love the dainty tattoos, and I've kind of just covered my arms with them. And uh, this one right here. And this flower right there, this one, I actually have matching with my sister. We got the same one. And then I got like a bee for Benson back here. I have a strawberry because I love strawberries. But I also have a banana back here because I love bananas. And then I got a mirror because I thought, hey, maybe if someone looked here, they would see themselves. Where did you get your couch? Okay, so this couch right here. This is a Togo couch by Lynn Rose. And these are tricky to find. It's not like you can find it at Ikea. I ended up getting the second hand. This couch specifically is from the 2000s and I ended up getting it second hand. I went actually all the way down to Seattle <laughs> to get it because I was like, I saw this couch and I was like, I need it because I like never see them. Um, if you're in Europe, like they're made in France, then you have a, an exceptional selection of them to choose from. But if you're in North America, you can't find them anywhere. There's a lot of knockoff ones. I ended up getting a real one and uh, oh my goodness, I'm gonna keep this till I die. Where do you see yourself in five years or perhaps even 10 years? First of all, I don't know. I really don't know because I feel like the amount of things that have changed in my life this last year that I never would have expected that I could say, hey, I expect to be blah, blah, blah in five years and I know that's not gonna happen because things change and especially recently things change. So things can change again. I don't really know, but I do have some direction of the next five years, the next 10 years, that is just like, way too overwhelming. I'm just like a very high stress person. So if I plan too much, then I expect it to happen. And then when it doesn't happen, I get more stressed. So I just like living day by day, project by project and see what kind of happens. I don't know. Cause maybe next month I'm like, Hey, I want to build a house. Crazier things have happened. If you were a kind of food, what food would you be? Ramen. Have you always lived in Canada? No. Well, I grew up in Canada, I'm Canadian, but I actually went to school down in the States. I went to the University of Idaho and got my degree there because I went for a track and field scholarship. I was a, I was a runner back in the day. And so I lived there for four and a half years, but came back to Canada, you know, like winter time, summer breaks. But um, I did live somewhere else. I lived in Idaho for a bit. Do you have a new boyfriend? Maybe. Maybe. I maybe do. Maybe Jack has a boyfriend. Maybe Benson has a boyfriend. 
Maybe I have a boyfriend. Maybe. I feel like you keep getting tiny apartments. Why not go bigger? I know. I want a big place. I a dream of mine would be to have a studio, like to have a big room where I have like a setup of sew machine. I have a setup where I have a couch, like this couch where I can knit and crochet. And then I have like a backdrop so then I can take pictures or videos of me with my new clothes in front of a nice backdrop. And then I have like nice lighting, like it's a studio. That is a dream of mine. One day. Will you adopt more pets? I, um, 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 um maybe. No, actually, no, that's a lie. I will not adopt more pets. Uh, two's enough. Two's enough. Doesn't mean, you know, I don't want to say this, but you know, when they get old, maybe in the future I'll adopt more. But right now, two, plenty of work. Are you divorced? Yes. I'm divorced. I got divorced at 26 and it's something I don't want to say I'm embarrassed about but I am embarrassed about and I'm not embarrassed about the relationship or anything like that. I guess it's just sucks saying that you're divorced at 26. Like that's not really fun and it's because people don't know the whole situation. They don't know the whole story. I was with the person for 10 years and then we got married and then we got divorced. It's not like I was with, with them for six months and then got married and then got divorced six months later as a year total. We were together for a long time and it sucked that it, we realized that after we got married that we realized we weren't the right people for each other. It happened. I think it's something that, something I can, you know, move on from. It's not, it's not the end of the world. It honestly isn't. I know some people think it is, but it's really not. Unfortunately, it's just something that I just need to um, own. I'm happy with my life. I don't have regrets and things, so it happened. How has your mental health been? Um, actually pretty, like, pretty good. Yeah, I would say pretty good. I still get anxiety and I'm still a kind of roller coaster, you know? When I get stressed, a lot of time it's just with stress, my anxiety. But overall, I've been really good. I actually got off all my medications where I'm not on any medications now, which is something I'm super proud of that I've gotten to that point with my mental health and really worked on myself that I could get to that point where no antidepressants, no nothing, I've been able to cope a lot better. I'm doing really well. I am doing really well. I'm really proud of myself. And I've just, I've just really impressed myself this year. I've really learned a lot about myself and um, it's something I'm proud of. Is YouTube your full-time job? Yes, it is my full-time job. Only thing I do, <laughs> it's a lot of work too. <laughs> Hope this is not an inappropriate question. Do you still have your wedding dress? Yeah, I do. I don't know what to do with it, guys. <laughs> it's like in deep storage, but I don't know what to do because I'm at this conflict where I made it and it's mine creation. Like, I made it. Like. I, I guess I don't love throwing out things that I made, but I don't know what to do with it. I need to get rid of it, but I also hate, you know, you see that conflict. Do you have any knitting slash crochet goals for 2024? I do. I really want to do another collab project because you guys saw I did the dress and then I also made the flower sweater just recently, like a video ago, last was it last week? And I really want to do more projects like that with you guys. So I definitely want to do another big project where you guys send some things and I create something out of it. Who knows? I kind of want to go bigger. So hopefully that. I really want to do that in 2024. What are you most proud of yourself for achieving this year? And what took the most courage? So I am so proud of myself with how independent I am. I, I never thought that I'd be traveling on my own because I would say I'm pretty, I was pretty dependent on going with people and just doing things with people and not doing many things on my own. But after living on my own, traveling on my own, I went to a concert by myself on my own, just went and had the best time ever. Like a year ago, Jenna, never in a million years would she have gone to a concert by herself. But today, Jenna, I am very proud of her. She has accomplished a lot of things and she's just kind of proven that she can do whatever she wants. She has her own business. She can run her own business and then support herself and then support her two dogs. She can have a nice place to live in. She, well, she can have a place to live in. She's got a roof over her head. And 
it's pretty cool. Younger Jenna would be very proud of today, Jenna. I, I would think so. I, I, yeah, I'm just kind of speechless in that sense when I like think about that. It's like, I'm very, I'm very impressed with myself how I really put myself outside of my comfort zone and did some new things and um, really enjoyed myself. I think that was a great one to leave off. Now I have to go get my sister. So thank you guys for everyone that submitted questions. I'm sorry I didn't get through all of them. Um, maybe I can do a live session where I can answer more just because otherwise this video will be like seven hours long if I answered them all. So anyways, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye. Do you wanna go see Auntie Benson?